All right, so uh, this is to be a Leo Sun, Leo Moon, and as well a Leo Rising. Uh, weekly general tarot reading, February 2nd to February 8th, 2020. And in case any of you guys is interested in a personal reading with me, uh, you can check out the description down below and there you're going to find a uh, link to my website from which uh, you can purchase such. So that being said, moving to the spread straight away. Now the first card here, which marks the topic of your week, Leo, is going to be the uh, devil card. Moving next, we do have the energies feeding and supporting the topic. Uh, that is to be the justice, followed by uh, the uh, challenges that you will have to overcome throughout the week. That is to be the page of wands. <clears throat> then, uh, it is the gifts and the blessings that you can enjoy throughout the week here. We do have uh, the Ace of Cups. Moving next, it is the impression that you're going to make into the people around. Uh, and that is to be the Wheel of Fortune. And the final card that we do have for you guys here, it will be the Guidance uh, that uh, Taro is offering. Uh, do we have a glare on the cards? Not exactly. Okay, so perfect. So uh, the final card, which is... Uh, the guidance that Taro is offering, that is to be the Emperor. Okay, so, um, well, let's start with, uh, as usual, the first couple of cards. So we do have uh, the Justice here with the Devil. And uh, according to the energies themselves, as the Justice comes around, it is that throughout this week, your discernment of what is substantial for you and what kind of decisions you have to make, and in generally how to... Uh, how to structure priorities and tasks in a fashion that will allow you to tackle with everything around without, you know, jumping into some sort of a uh, chaos and not knowing to uh, not, not knowing what to take on, so you can be productive. For example, how much time you have to devote to this endeavor and to that agenda, how much time you should devote to your relationship, for example, in exchange for the time for your career. So all that is to be sorted out or settled down throughout the week as you are once again going to have that astute discernment of what is more, some, more substantial than other. And uh, by that, it does look like, I don't know how to say it really in English, but it does look like that many people around are going to be left quite happy, quite satisfied, is the word that I was searching for, um, in regards to your, uh, to, to, to your adoption of a moves that you are to do in regards to personal interests, uh, or once again, projects at your career, and in general, people are going to be happy seeing how productive you are. That is because you, for one or another reason, will be able to make the right choices, the right decisions, and the right approach moving uh, moving forward with your personal uh, with your personal goals and agenda. Thing with the justice here, however, is that you can't afford really to slack around in a sense of that you have to take the initiative. It is just what justice card is because as the energies especially as the energies it does preach that justice law and order are to be in place meaning that everybody gets what they deserve and so if you do nothing you're gonna get exactly nothing if you do a lot then you are gonna get a lot if you do bad things bad is gonna catch up with you if you do good things good is gonna catch up with you all right so if you are kind of like true to your um actions and you do things deliberately in the sense of that you do what you want then you are going to get what you want it is as simple as that with the justice card and it does require once again a initiative when it comes to how you structure priorities and the next one which is the situation what comes out of these uh, of these energies it is the devil card not much to be said really about that the the whole week it is all about you fulfilling um if you want to say urges that you do have because the devil it's not exactly reflecting it does reflect one's wishes but they are more like a primal uh, a primal wishes kind of like a uh, a yearnings more than dreams something that you do want now in this moment it doesn't matter how it doesn't matter whom with trivial thing it is for example uh, you want to have sex whom with it doesn't matter you want to be successful how and uh, and what with again it doesn't really matter so it's kind of like this is the situation itself for you Leo that regardless of what kind of means regardless of what kind of people as well you are to surround yourself with you can definitely chase 
your yearnings, which from another standpoint is going to give you a certain amount of power because devil is all about power as well to alter outcomes and to force a circumstances in your life, how you're going to use them. Now that sits entirely up with you. So next one, uh, it is going to be the challenges that you will have to overcome here. We do have the page of wands. Now this card doesn't really fit well with uh, the narrative itself. If uh, unless it is a person completely neglected by you following the new structure, the new the, the new world order, if you will, into your life. And uh, that person there are quite used to have a lot of attention. That is uh, typical with a page of wands. Uh, they, they, they just want to kind of like be the center of the company, you know, that the, 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 they have the, that um, uh, sense that they are the most important person in there. And so seeing that uh, you are not paying that much attention as before to them one or another way is going to aggravate them because, you know, uh, uh, it's, uh, in outward, they look like they don't care, really. They, they look that if it is not you, it's going to be someone else. It's like that you are uh, expendable, say, but deep down within themselves, they are very, very fragile. I mean, they don't handle these appointments very well, let, let alone that they have been replaced with something else. Uh, for the reason being is that the page thinks that they are unique and that uh, kind of like not, no one can resist their passionate attraction. But uh, that's the curse of the page. They, were, they are to learn the hard way that that's entirely not true. But apart from that, apart from this person being slightly aggravated that you are not placing much attention as before to them, not much other challenges are in front of you throughout this week. Moving next here, it is that we do have uh, the gifts and the blessings, and that is of the Ace of Cups. Now, if you check at the books, they all are going to tell you love, true, true enough. Okay, but, pay, the, but the Ace of Cups doesn't have to be just the, the, the romantic love around, okay? The Ace of Cups is love for life itself. It's, uh, it basically says that whatever happens to you, you're going to love it. It's just, it came to my mind something vulgar um, from a, a gaming stream, and I don't, I don't want to say it, but it's really, oh my God. <laughs> anyway, so, uh, yeah. Whatever happens to you, you're gonna love it. It's because the page of uh, the page, oh my god, the Ace of Cups, it does preaches that throughout the, the certain period of time that the card takes place, meaning this week, March 2nd to March 8th, 2020, uh, things are to happen to you that are gonna make first many concerns of yours, many things that you are kind of like stressed about, completely irrelevant to get you to give you a um. And an example of it, you're stressing over a, a project at work, say, and certainly your boss says we are we are cutting it off. We we, we just ain't gonna deal with that BS anymore, and you are reassigned to another project. So literally the project the, the problem isn't solved, it just loses relevance. Okay, or you're stressed that you are single, well, you're no longer single because you're gonna love something or someone, and that does not fix the problem, but it makes it completely irrelevant. So uh, that kind of a, uh, a narrative, it is what is gonna follow for you throughout this uh, throughout this week. And uh, once these kind of like a issues that are losing relevance starts to take place, you are to see that your reality starts transcend as well. I mean, your daily reality starts transcend, transcend itself into to something much more exhilarating and to something much more how can I say it, pleasant to live through another thing about about the, the uh, ace of cups it is that the card preaches that they um a spot in your heart that was once emptied now is going to be refilled again and nothing is going to look the same when you look at when you look at it through the overflowing joy that has replaced this empty spot in your heart. So uh, the, the card itself points as a gifts and blessings, you are gonna be gifted with a, a very, very happy week. It is just as that with a field within an amazing enterprises for you to enjoy. And uh, as we said that uh, the next one, it is the impression that you are living into the people around. And there is only one way to say about that card. People are gonna think that you are very lucky that you just kind 
kind of like how do you say it well, in, in my country we say it like a um you hit the jackpots something like this it will be in a literal translation okay so people were gonna uh, this is how the people were gonna look at you that you have your once in a lifetime chance here to to do something about your life and really to make it productive now that may not be true okay but it's just what kind of impression you're giving into uh, into the people around for example you share with your co-worker that your boss is reassigning you to another project and you don't have to stress anymore to this uh, pile of mess that have been turned up throughout the months that you have slogged with many other people around onto the old one and that co-worker of yours says you lucky bastard you know because they have to now take your place and kind of like deal with uh, with the same crap that you have dealt before but the thing is that uh, it's just people will want to get your shoes it's just for the card points here and they will kind of like uh, uh, be baffled you know if you do nothing about it they, they are going to be baffled how could you not all right it's just what kind of a person loses such a good opportunities around now that is very uh, abstract in everybody's uh, in everybody's mind because people want different stuff because for example if you uh, say you are single and you don't stray for any type of relationships right now i mean you are completely fine of being single and you get approached by someone really handsome someone that shows big interest but you don't show any interest whatsoever and your friend thinks that you are um, uh, kind of like a uh, i will not say the word but it starts with m it's because you know they want to be at your shoes they want to kind of like interact with that person and probably get into a relationship with them but you know what is um a valuable for them it's invaluable valuable for you so whatever happens to you is going to be extremely valuable to those around but it is yours to take advantage of of course with the devil at the start you can share it okay you, you can uh, kind of like uh substitute it uh, substitute yourself with someone else but that again it is entirely up to you to decide and uh the final card that we do have for you leo is going to be the emperor which is the guidance that you should follow throughout the week now with the emperor you have to be very serious in terms of when you start tackling with all the responsibilities around those that you choose to tackle it because once again you are to have that astute discernment what worth it and what doesn't worth it and whatever you decide someone worth it and you start tackling with it it you need to exert the full control and uh, sense of reliability and structure as well as much uh, as you are capable of because with the emperor the card points that once you start playing the game there is no going back so uh, a typical example your boss approaches you with a proposition for an amazing project that gives you an opportunity for go for a promotion and you say yes well when you say yes you have to play the game to the end either the project fails and you get fired or the project succeed and you get promoted there is no middle ground this is what here the emperor points and that's why it will be very important that um how can i say it uh you do your uh your homework here or your preparations to exert structure because there will be ups and downs i mean the whole thing despite that this week is going to be great it's not going to it stretches beyond the week itself and after the week ends in these gifts and blessings of the uh, ace of cups are no longer there there will be uh, ups and downs uh, it will be like a roller coaster and if you don't exert control you're gonna make the ups and the downs much more amplified now of course it's it's great when the ups are the summits are uh, are evaluated but it is really bad when the downs plummet you so so deep so you don't want that to happen okay and by exerting control there won't be much of a fluctuation and everything is to be a flat line but not a dead one and lastly with the emperor if you do your homework and plan and structure things around you also find that you do or that you will have a lot of time for yourself and to satisfy your personal needs as well so that being said leo this was your weekly general tarot reading february 2nd uh march 2nd excuse me guys to march 8 2020 hopefully you enjoyed it and you liked it and uh, once again if you're interested in a personal reading with me checking out the description down below is going to give you a link to my website from which you can a uh, purchase such 
That being said, hopefully we're going to see each other around. And until then, bye.